These are nice little cabins. They are cool. This used to be just a little run-of-the-mill trailer park. And they really cleaned it up. There's still some trailers in there, which actually, they weren't that bad, but some of the old ones. And they, this is awesome what they did. They turned it into a tiny home park for these log cabins, and it is cool. We're at the Saybrook Park. Of course, it's closed for the season. When we say that, I mean it's still open during the day and weekends. But the concession stand's only open for a certain amount of time, especially on the weekends and sometimes during the week. Sometimes they have concerts out here. They have a little play park. They rent the pavilions to people that register in the summertime for family picnics and parties. And I want to show you the breezy lake. It's chilly out here. I mean, it's hot. Where you park the car, it's hot. But there is, I swear to God, it's like a 25 knot lake wind, at least 18 knot. They're apparently doing erosion work, which I did not know. Because usually you can get a little closer to see. And it's nice when you can get closer to see the edge. They apparently have some more erosion work. But look at this wind. I mean, those waves are a little dangerous and treacherous, especially if you're by the rocks. I mean, those aren't super high waves, but if you're on a tiny boat, you're going to get rocked. And I swear, right there where we were, it feels like an 18 to 25 knot wind. Even though those waves are, I don't know how you register those waves. Those are at least, to me, a foot high wave, but maybe they look at two in spots and then they're continuous. This is the thing with the lake. In the ocean, you get big, long, rolling waves. In the, especially Lake Erie, it's, they said it's really shallow. I mean, in the one part, they're saying it's like 40 foot deep and it's not very far across. So you get a lot of short, choppy waves, which makes it more dangerous, especially for big boats and little boats, but the little boats is obviously more hazard, like if you're in a canoe. I mean, that wave's crashing in it. looked like closer to two feet. You got waves behind it, pounding, pounding, pounding. So if you're on a little boat, now that wave only looks like a half a foot to a foot. But by the time it's hitting here where it's breaking, see that wave was taller at the break. And that's the thing is like where I'm at right here, the wind's not too bad, but when I'm over by that building, it's like a wind tunnel. And you can see the trees moving not too bad, but at times that one's rocking and rolling and this one's barely moving and that base is lower. So it depends on the tree, hardwood, softwood, big shrub, little shrub. But this is the awesome Saybrook Park and it's a cool little, cool little place. They got condos over there, nice houses across the street. The whole shoreline is actually pretty nice and we don't get out here much because it's not, there's some private beaches along that end and I don't actually know what's open here. I know the houses have a private beach area, but this part of the beach has been closed off for years. You can't really get down there unless you're the worker because that's supposed to be closed off to only the workers. And it'd be nice if they'd open it up, but I think years ago, they pushed everybody like over there they have like a dock area for a private area and that has to do with the, the people that live in those cabins and the, the park over there but i think years ago they tried to keep everybody at walnut beach and lakeshore park they didn't want this open and then the next marina down is actually geneva and there's limited to where you can actually stop and overlook a couple spots in the road and actually have access to the lake but there's a big place in, you know, Marina and Geneva. There's a couple small ones for private individuals. Red Book's down the street the other way. And you have tons of boat marinas in Ashtabula, some in Geneva. But to actually get beach access like this, it'd be neat if they would open it up to give people a chance in Saybrook to have a spot to go to their own beach. I know it's only a mile the other direction to get to the other one, but it's nice. It's usually a lot quieter here, unless there's a picnic or a party. Uh, they do take their turns with those concert at all the beaches around here usually and then and even Kent State So as far as that goes Sedbrook Park's one of the bestest little hidden secrets and the pavilions I think are usually full like a lot of the other ones because people come out this direction and they like the smaller atmosphere You got the it's pretty big pavilion I mean Lakeshore Park does have a lot more but this is for a smaller family Which is still a big family and if they have a lot of smaller parties sometimes they'll divide this pavilion up into a couple a couple parties same with that one it's a smaller one but it's a great little park they have the ball field out